everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to film a tutorial using a new palette by Nude Sticks. Call it a palette, it's just a new palette featuring some new pencils um, and a new nudies blush. So I'm going to use that today. You might have noticed I have gone a lot lighter with my hair. I haven't had it kind of refreshed for a little while and I've gone to a new salon. So yeah, I'm quite liking it. It's a bit creamier. I quite like it. So this is the Sun and Sea kit. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see it. So it comes in the same tin as we are used to seeing. There's a little mirror on the inside. So their nude beach kit was inspired by shades of blue seas, living corals, sun-kissed beach babes and majestic sunsets. So we've got these three and this one which are the eye pencils and these two are the lip and cheek balms. These really are sweat proof, waterproof, kiss proof. I had to get this off with neat washing up liquid because it just wasn't coming off so an oil based remover on your eyes is the best way to remove these products but if you're looking for festival ready summer makeup provided that the coronavirus isn't stopping us from doing that in a few months time then these are the products for you. I'm going to start with foundation. Today I'm using the NARS Radiant Foundation. This one is a slightly radiant finish in terms of it gives you luminosity but it isn't light reflecting in terms of loads of pearly pigments this just gives you kind of a natural radiance it's really beautiful i am between shades so i'm mixing two different colors together so i'm going to take that all over i'm going to be slightly lighter on the center of the face and then mixing a slightly deeper shade just through the outer perimeter so it gives me that natural looking finish to my skin where i'm a bit more naturally colored around the outer edge so I hope in this crazy time at the moment, you're all staying safe. My sister and I mostly work out together in the mornings. So we'll normally have something like poached eggs on toast for breakfast. And you can't get eggs anywhere. You can't get anything anywhere. The shops are empty. It's very apocalyptic at the minute. It's crazy. So we have been out on missions to find eggs in the morning. We live in quite a rural area. So we went down the lanes to where all the people's massive houses are where they own chickens and they've got farmland and stuff. There's loads of eggs outside people's houses with trust boxes so you put the money in, take your eggs and you don't actually have to see somebody. And I think it's brilliant especially at a time like this because you just can't can't get anything in store and, and anything you can get you're lining up for like two hours. For me obviously I mostly work from home filming for you guys. I'm kind of in self-isolation most of the time, so um, it's not really going to change my life too much. However, I know some of you probably have a lot more adventurous lifestyles, so I hope you're not going crazy being stuck indoors. It can be a really daunting time for those of you that suffer with mental health, so remember to talk to people. My mum was an agoraphobic and didn't leave the house, yet hated Sundays knowing that everything was closed and she couldn't go out um which is really bizarre for an agoraphobic because she didn't go out anyway but just knowing she wasn't allowed to go out in a sense because there was nothing open it used to make her mental health worse so um I know it can be quite awful for people so talking to people always really helps so that's my foundation on now I'm going to move on to eye makeup and then come back and finish the face I'm starting with the shade La Isla, which is the Magnetic Matte Eye Colour. This is a matte coral shade and I'm taking this all over the eyelid. The shape you create is completely up to you. I like to wing mine out, it really does suit my eye shape. But if you don't feel like you can pull off a bit more of a winged eye shadow, you can just create more of a rounded eye. Considering we are creating a winged liner, it suits the eye shape to have a winged eye shadow. Once I've got the initial shape down, I'm going straight in with a brush before moving on to the other eye because these do set in place and I'm buffing over the seams of the eyeshadow just into the socket line so it's a little bit softer and I'm also softening the upper half of the wing so it looks a little bit more diffused. I'm using a domed blending brush, this just gives me a little bit more precision when I'm creating a softer appearance to the eyeshadow. Rather than buffing it out really high, we're going to keep it a little bit more precise. And then just use what's left on the bristles to buff it up towards the eyebrow bone. Then I'm taking this luminous coral shade called Sunrise Star. And I'm applying this to the centre of the eyelid. Applying it just in the centre makes this area look bigger because it reflects light. And this area becomes the focal point and it just makes your eyelids look a little bit larger. 
I'm also bringing light to the very inner corner of the eyes. Those reflecting pigments bounce light back, drawing your eye line to this area. In case you didn't know, this kit is actually inspired by the ocean. And a portion of the proceeds from each kit is donated to Ocean Conservation Foundations. So if you're interested in trying the kit, I do have a 20% off discount code for nude sticks. I'm pretty certain it works site-wide, so you should get 20% off the kit. They haven't officially told me that, but hopefully it will work for you. So I'm taking La Isla underneath those lower eyelashes, connecting it with the outer corner of the top lid, so it looks like that line travels all the way underneath and everything is cohesive and meets. Next I'm taking the shade Côte d'Azur, which is a glistening ocean blue, and I'm running that along the waterline, but I'm also being quite messy with it because I do want it to slip between the lower eyelashes so I can take a small flat brush and blend that down into the coral shade that we've got underneath those eyelashes. Then I'm taking an angled liner brush and running that along the actual pencil itself so it picks up the product, and then I'm going to use this to map out the shape of my eyeliner. As we've already got a guide in place from the eyeshadow shape, I'm following that with the brush just to give me the right angle for the eyeliner. And then once I've laid down the initial shape, I'm pulling the brush backwards to build up a little bit of a thicker line. And then I'm going in with the pencil just to lay down a little bit more colour. And again, I don't want this to be overly neat. I do want the edge to be ever so slightly diffused so it's a little bit softer. I do buff over this a little bit more with my brush after I've done my mascara. And talking of mascara, the one I'm using is this brand new massive mascara by Diego de la Palma called My Toy Boy. Now apart from being huge, what makes this mascara a little bit different is that it does contain ingredients to stimulate and strengthen the eyelash bulb. So it claims that it will promote eyelash growth within 30 days of use. The formula is very black, it goes on really nice, it is a very dramatic looking mascara. I want that for this particular look because I don't want to use any eyelashes. Don't worry about the little specks because once they dry I knock them off with a cotton bud. It lasted really well all day with just a few specks that fell down. That's my eye makeup done, I've got to be super quick because I didn't realise the time. I've literally got 12 minutes because I have a wedding meeting in a moment with our planner and I totally didn't realise the time. So I'm going to use some Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless powder just to set my face. I'm using the slightly darker shade around the outer edges of my face and then the lighter shade through the centre. Do you ever do that? The day just gets away from you. I've missed what I'm supposed to be doing. Tommy's just arrived back which is the noise in the background. I'm then going to use the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum concealer this is my absolute favorite at the minute especially for every day it's one of those ones that doesn't enhance your fine lines under your eyes so I like to mix medium and light just on the areas that need a little bit more coverage and then I'm going to blend that out really quickly I'm doing this before I put the rest of the powder on through the centre of the face. But I do find this goes over powder quite well. And you want to set that in place. Oh, I feel the pressure. Set the centre of the face. I'm going to use my usual Bare Minerals Photan Bronzer. Sorry, this is so rushed. I've let the day get away with me and it's my own fault. I'm then taking Nude Sticks Nudies Matte in Beach Babe, which came in the kit. I'm going to use a synthetic brush dipped into that. And I'm going to press that onto the face. Just use a stipple motion. And again, I find these go over powders fine, um, especially if you're using a stipple motion. These are great. You can use them on the eyes, you can use them on the cheeks, you can use them on the lips. And I'll list all the products down below for you. I love 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 nude sticks and I've never done a paid collaboration with them everything that I've ever showed you is either kindly been gifted I've purchased um, but nothing comes with obligation to share it's all because I absolutely love them 
taking my concealer brush and just buffing over the seams so it's a bit more seamless. I'm then taking Babe from the kit which is the gel colour lip and cheek balm and putting that on the lips. And then blotting it off because you know I like it fairly there. And that's my super quick, easy tutorial using the new New Sticks Sun and Sea kit. I hope you love it. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Sorry it's so rushed, but I'm in a rush, I've got to go. Um, love you all, and I will see you next week. Bye!